positive. Okay. <laughs> what kind of salami? What do you use so, it for? Yeah, you can use the salt for eating, oh. and you can also export the salt in the in the Europe for the smell. Oh, yeah, yeah. Salt, yeah. In US, we yeah, need yeah, we yeah. need it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, actually, you can cook for the skin, but not actually fifteen minutes on this food. Okay. So Across the leg by walking, you know. No. Yeah. The multiply is easy on that part. Let me and see. Do like crazy things, huh? You gonna do it? Like Jesus Christ? Yeah. <laughs> no. And before entering in the water, in the the salt color shop, before entering in the water, they put something like sea butter in the skin mm -hmm. to protect the heat from the salt. Okay. You understand? So because they rest on the water for, for uh, five hours or six hours. This is why before mm -hmm. entering they put something like sea butter. Lock Rose, aka Lake Ritba, also known as the Pink Lake, is the livelihood of a community just about an hour north from the center of Dakar, Senegal. The lake is known for its pink hue from the sun and the algae that make that color. Half of the year, harvesters spend time on half of the lake, harvesting the salt, and then the other six months, harvesting on the other side of the lake. The communities sell the salt to other neighboring communities, other countries, neighboring Senegal, as well as Europe. About one ton of salt makes 15 euros the men make that the women empty the boats of salt once the boats come on land and they aren't paid in money but rather in salt which they can then sell and make other things to sell in their communities this is a major part of the economy and is also being added as a historical site. Go and check it out next time you are in Dakar, Senegal. They actually have it separated. It's like it was in bags. 